Welcome back. We're approaching October, so I wanted to do a horror game to probably maybe have most of the way or all the way done by Halloween. I'd already done a Resident Evil video or series on this channel, so I decided to do Doom 3. The closest the Doom series has to a horror game, because this technically was kind of a horror game. It's also my favorite of the Doom franchise. Because some people might not like Doom 3 as much, but I really liked uh, all of the lore and everything that it put in. And that. It's got a great theme song. Alright, so anyways, we're just going to go through the campaign. I've always liked Doom 3 because, uh, well, you know, a lot of people don't like how slow it is compared to literally every other game. Like Doom, Doom 2, Final Doom, Doom 64, 2016, Eternal. But I've always liked all of the lore and like all the audio logs and stuff that it made. It was very cinematic and very story heavy, which is something that I really liked. So let's go ahead and get started. And we'll enjoy this story that I love. Because the story is really why I like replaying Doom 3. The Union Aerospace Corporation is the largest corporate entity in existence. Originally focused on weapon and defense contracts, new ventures have expanded into biological research, space exploration, and other scientific endeavors. With unlimited funds and the ability to engage in research outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. You see, we're already story heavy, <laughs> which cinema, with the intro does have a lot of story, like not just the intro scene, but uh, like the intro, like chapter. So let's get through this loading screen and we'll get started. Incoming transport detected. Mars approach, Dark Star with U07063, passing through 38,000. Roger, Dark Star, descend to 2,000, set speed, contact ground on 26972. Roger that tower. We have them on radar, sir. They'll be landing in a few moments. Excellent. See that Counselor Swan is sent directly to me. Yes, sir. Tower, Dark Star on final. We've got you, Dark Star. You are set for lockdown. Welcome back. I can't believe it's come to this. I didn't want to come here. He left you no choice. True. But this is the last time. I'm tired of running damage control every time he makes a mess. Right. You're the control. And if that fails, I'm the damage. If that's what it takes, the Truger is going to start doing things our way. Whatever you say, Counselor. All right, now let's get started. We got, uh... We have... Gameplay. And Doom 3 is a pretty not interesting piece of history while I... Ooh, what's, it, what's this? Can I interact with this? I have literally never interacted with this thing before. I've played this game a bunch of times. I played it on PC, PS3, and here on Switch a few times. Ooh, look at this. Look at this manifest. So what's, what's what's inbound? So we got biological specimens, classified, biological specimens again, general issue military ration packs, armor replacement shards. Isn't that neat? But I feel like it's a shame because, like, 
when you think of Dune 3, you'll sort of think of, like, the black sheep of the series. I mean, technically, you could probably put Doom 64 like that, or the mobile old phone, like, Doom RPGs. You remember those? But it's a shame that this didn't take off with a Doom 4 proper, like... Because Doom 4 happened, it was Doom 2016. This was That was years and years and years after this. But I, this kind of made me really like games with a lot of lore, especially audio-based lore. Like, there's a bunch of lore in Doom 2016 and Eternal, but... Welcome to Mars. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. If you're looking for someone to help you, just head to reception. But that thing is I, what I like. There's so much audio lore in here, from the NPCs to all of the log files Welcome we're going to find. Welcome to Mars there. City, Union Aerospace's premier research facility. To expedite your processing, please proceed directly to reception. I gotta get out of here. I'm getting off this rock. And you should too. If you're staying here, watch your back. You should be careful. It's not safe here. Trust no one. If you're staying here, watch your back. See, look at that guy. That guy's just like background character that's all worried, but he had like four different unique dialogue lines. Oh, and there's, there's another thing you can interact with. Hold on, let me just delete all of these log files. An attempt has been made to alter a classified shipment. Do you, you do not have proper security clearance. My bad. Let's see what's down here. I don't think I've ever been down here either. Push this stuff around. This is cool. Let's climb back up here. And if you notice, this is 60 FPS. Outside of a few rooms, uh, all of this game is 60 FPS on the Switch, which is fantastic. Welcome to Mars, Marine. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bioscan. This'll only take a second. Okay, let me get this started. You're gonna need to hold still. Moving around only makes the test take longer. All right, bioscan looks good. You're cleared for entry. Oh boy. Oh, hello, spider robot. On behalf of the UAC, welcome to Mars City. This facility serves as the central hub for all scientific research, Attention. archaeological Director study, Banks. and military Please report operations. to Central Administration. Goal number one at the UAC is the safety and well-being of all employees and guests. To help achieve this goal, we ask you to follow all UAC corporate procedures at all times. This includes restricting your movement to areas for which you have clearance. Always remain alert and aware of what you and others are doing. If you notice anything out of the ordinary, or just have a simple question, find the nearest UAC security guard. They are here to help, no matter how large or small the problem is. Our station on Mars provides a perfect blend of work habitats, recreational facilities, and social support structures. This ensures our goal of providing a true home away from home experience for everyone. Keep this in mind as you help us pursue our groundbreaking research that is destined to transform the daily lives of everyone here and throughout the solar system. If you need more detailed assistance, please see your human resources manager. If you are a guest, you may bring up any issue with your appointed UAC liaison. Thank you, and have a nice day. Hey, you know, a lot of the lore that you get, like all of that, yeah, some people can think it's boring, but I, I just love diving into lore, especially in horror games and movies and horror everything. But I also love just diving into lore because I love I love this series. Ooh, calendar events, November is Safety Awareness Month. Let's go ahead and download that, even though I don't have a PDA yet. So let's move on. Welcome to Mars. First time? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up to your quarters. Okay, there's a few things we need to take care of first. 
This is your personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the signs. Okay. You see the size of that PDA? It was like an iPad. Was this... Okay, that, that brings up a great question. By the time this game came out, were, was the iPad a thing at all? I don't think it was. iPad Generation 1... Okay, 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 let's, let's deep dive here. iPad Generation 1 came out in 2010. Doom 3 came out in 2004. What kind of tablet computers were around in 2004? Let's find out. All right, all right, all right. All right, here we go. In 2002, original equipment manufacturers released the first tablet PCs designed to the Microsoft tablet PC specification. All right, let's 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 see. 2002 tablet computer Microsoft tablet PC. Oh my goodness. Tablet PC faces uncertain future November 18th, 2002. Yeah, it didn't look that much different than what that uh, t PDA was like. No, I mean PDAs back then were probably way different. And just to uh just to date myself there, Doom 3 came out in 2004. In 2004, I was, uh... I was like a freshman or sophomore in high school. Wow. Alright, let's go back to that other room and download that information to the PDA. Data sent to PDA. So let's take a look at it. Do I have anything in here? We got personal. We got emails. We got video discs. And we got fists. Like inventory. I think this is what we just did. Isn't that, is, is that what we just listened to on the. Uh... Welcome to Mars, Marine. This briefing is designed to acquaint you with a few of the standard operating procedures here on the Mars Post. First and foremost, chain of command. All enlisted personnel are under the command of Master Sergeant Thomas Kelly. Mars Sergeant City Kelly will assign you to a security facility. detail Please headed by a security chief. Areas. Please report Thank to your, your security chief for all duty-related concerns. While on duty, please stay on your assigned patrol coverage area. All PCAs have been pre-designated to provide overlapping security and maximize efficiency. All personnel must have proper authorization in assigned areas. Be sure to annotate any discrepancies on your security inspection report. Safety is integral to all operations here on Mars. Handle firearms with extreme caution. Never discharge weapons in an area that may compromise the installation's structural integrity. Remembering these procedures is paramount to your success here on Mars. Keep in mind that you represent the greatest fighting force in the galaxy, and your actions are a reflection on the core. Take good care, and good luck on your new assignment. Yeah, I know, we're going to be standing around a lot at the, at the start of this, because this intro stuff is, like, overloaded with story stuff. Because, like, if I'd walked up there, we would have, uh, had that person talk to us. And I didn't want it to interrupt the Mars brief Marine briefing. Okay. Haven't seen you before. You must be with that new detachment coming to check on us. Is there some type of problem? I'm just trying to get my work done here. Yeah, your face is the problem. All right, let's keep going. I'm here because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh, really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No, 
but I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. The board authorized you? Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money, some product. Don't worry, they'll get their product. After how many accidents? Tell me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked, complaining, requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruger, Delta included. I won't have any difficulties doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. Let's go. Alright. Well, that was ominous. Not even trying to hide who the villain is. Oh, can't use the elevator yet. Hi, bud. Listen, buddy, you don't have clearance for this area. Move along. All right, fine. Jeez. So rude. There's our uh, our guy. So let's move through here. Oh yeah, we did we did download a different video disc earlier. So let's let's take a look at that. Welcome to Mars Research Facility. On behalf of the UAC. Okay, we already watched that. That's what was playing on that display in the main hall. Okay, so let's keep going. And I know some people might not want to stop and listen to every little bit of lore, but I just love doing that in this game. I just, like, find new lore, I'm like, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, I gotta listen to this new audio log. Excuse me. Excuse you. I've seen you before. You must be a replacement for one of the guys we lost. Yeah, no. I'm the hero! You know, Doom Guy, oh my gosh, look at this, look at these great urinals and toilets. I jump on the toilet. Oh, wow. Two rolls of toilet paper. You must have Mexican recently. Oh, you can see our guy. Even though you don't have to worry about what this character looks like, because we saw him during that cutscene. Can't really see anything in here. Now, you know the weird thing is, I distinctly remember playing this on PC, like the demo on PC, and I remember this room having like a really crazy like jump scare flash when you look in this mirror. But I've never been able to replicate it with the newer versions. I I've always wondered if they removed that when they made BFG Edition. Because Doom 3 BFG Edition is what this version's based off of. BFG Edition was the uh, port that was made for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Oh, here's the kitchen. Oh, we gotta spend time in the kitchen. IBM News Network, your universe now. The Union Aerospace Corporation denied allegations today of several reports showing a growing military presence on Mars. A spokesperson stated that increased activity is simply a tactical deployment to outlying planetary sectors. Authorities continue to search for the activists responsible in Monday's bombing of a biomech production facility, resulting in the destruction of hundreds of biomech labor units. In space news, Mining station Amon is reporting 9 dead and 28 wounded in what appears to be an ore canopy failure during routine operations. This is the fifth incident in a string of mishaps that have plagued asteroid strip mining facilities in recent months. Deep Space Probe Madridi successfully executed the first of four engine bursts designed to alter the probe's course, according to officials. The probe's logic core first requested the diversion following yesterday's discovery of a negative light object outside the orbit of Sedna. The probe is set to resume its outer system mapping mission next week, following further scans of the fluctuating anomaly. Faint signals continue to be received from the failed Europa orbiter, which is said to be further evidence of survivors in Thursday's crash. 
Union Aerospace, who funded the privately operated orbiter, stated that there were no survivors and the signal is part of the NAVCOM system's automated distress beacon. Critics of the massive corporation say the Europa signal is undeniably originating from one or more survivors, and the high costs of mounting a rescue operation have led to the UAC's refusal. In IPN's business news, Mixum Corporation has filed suit against rival company Moxim, claiming the company infringed on several pressure seal patents utilized in planetary bases. Moxim lawyers have threatened a countersuit, saying that Mixum creates inferior parts based on original Moxim designs. Senate majority leaders this morning approved a nearly $80.2 trillion spending plan. The plan includes cuts in funding for the lunar outpost and several planetary platforms, as well as major revisions to the public health care system. The plan also calls for cutting the budget deficit in half by 2147. Gentech firm Reutier met further resistance this week in its plans to introduce genetically manufactured health products on Earth. A longtime supplier to military and space sectors, genetically modified products have seen... Alright, I think I've had enough of the news. There's... Just, uh... Just think about that. They added so much... Oh, it's over. Okay. But they added so much lore, like all of these companies, all this extra stuff that's happening that's, that, that has nothing to do with the game itself! It's just like, here's all of this stuff that's happening in this world that is just completely not at all pertaining to what you're going to do. Oh, and I did uh, get a data pad here. So you can look at Adam Birch's Burnex um, data pad so you can see, like... Maintenance update, audio log, and you can read his email. So let's listen to the audio log. This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernache, dated November 10th, 2145. I've fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. Billers, you hear about Corporal I did, Allen? however, have yeah, another he said he just odd experience it. while I was down there. This week. Shortly after finishing one, the first coupling another. adjustment, no I distinctly shit. heard I wonder whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing. Checked the work logs, and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over in the Delta Labs, has me pretty freaked out. I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance area. The people down there are a bit off, the mumbling, the weird looks. The whole place is just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. 396, huh? End of log. That's a hint. Because the game has a bunch of lockers that you can open up with codes that you have to read emails and listen to log files to be able to get. Or, you know, go online and say, hey, I want a list of all Doom 3 codes right now. All right, let's go down here. Let's talk to these swell fellows. Another replacement, huh? Listen up, newbie. I'll give you some advice. Keep your eyes open and stay focused. Okay. What do you have to say? Another newbie. Welcome to the worst assignment you'll ever have. Come back for a drink when you get some free time. <laughs> Ooh, the shutters are open. We can see outside. Can we clean and close them? Oh, we can. Did it get brighter in here when we closed that? Okay, all right, all right. Let's see what we have. Bringing mankind one step closer to eight heaven. Mars Delta Labs leading the way. Oh, you know what I see over there? Super Turbo Turkey Puncher 3. Super Turbo Turkey Puncher 3! Oh my gosh! From Nabcom, not to be uh That's like a, a pun on Namco and Capcom. This is a fun minigame. It's really stupid and dumb. You can interact with it. Where you can kill turkeys! That are shown in the original Doom engine. Which I believe. Oh yeah, that. Do you know? Do
do you know enough about the original Doom games to know where this is? This is the Tower of Babel level from Doom 1 where you fight the Cyber Demon. I can tell from the way the stairs are and where and the way that uh, door is put there. But yeah, this is just something dumb. If you want to, you can go at this forever. You can watch your score go up until you hit the cap. It's just this dumb little thing that you can do. That's neat just because it's there and you can do it. And there actually is a uh, Super Turbo Turkey Puncher 3 arcade cabinet in Doom 2016. I think it was 2016. I don't think it was Eternal. Hidden in a specific Super level where you could find three. it. And it was re a really neat little reference. All right, let's move on. Can I open this back up for these guys? Yep. How is it darker now? Close that again. I want to see if there are lights that come on when we do this. Did the game have that much detail? It does. It does have that much detail. Okay, that's fun. That is fun. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, so those suits arrived too. Weird. The UAC must be worried about something. I hear there's been more accidents in Delta. <laughs> accidents? That's good. Is that what they're calling him now? So, tell me. Just what the hell is happening over there? Beats me, man. Look, all I do is repair the converters when they blow, okay? That's it. Fine. But what's overloading them so much? I mean, how much damn power do they need? I wouldn't ask him if I was you, man. I heard Travis started poking around and he got transferred fast. Didn't even see him leave. Hell, no one saw him go. Was he one minute, gone the next? Lucky bastard. I'm really trying to get this fixed quickly, so, uh, do you mind? Marine Command is right around the corner. Why don't you go bother someone there? Fine, be that way. Who was this? Volunteer for extra credits? Is this like an email thing? Okay. Let's keep looking around. Um, we can't go this way yet. But we can go Attention. this way. Dr. Braddock, please report to Environment Management Office 4 Alpha. You need to report to Sergeant Kelly ASAP. He's in Command HQ. Your helmet looks funny. I'm gonna go this way. I'm almost ready. Hold him down. Okay. He's sedated now. Oh, that's fun. Can't really go anywhere else, can I? Oh, I... I can! Oh, is this just Marine HQ? Is this just the other entrance? It probably is. Yep, it is. This is Delta Science Management. We would like to request another security team here in Delta. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Don't you have some orders you need to be following? Wow! What a bunch of rude guys. I'm trying to reconfigure this little guy. I can't talk now. All right, I guess we got to do main story stuff now. Oh, look at that mounted gun. Look, doesn't that look awesome? Took your sweet time, Marine. Now, here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I've programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. I hope you follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. We'll pick up some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. Why would I hurt him? All right, let's look around this room. This is the room. I think this is the room from that intro cutscene when the ship was flying in. No time to talk, bud. We both got work to do. Aw, oh, bud. Did you hear, Sarge? He gave you a mission. Move out, Marine. But I'm looking at things. Oh, look, there's a facility there. 
orbital insertion lane. That's cool. Okay, I guess we can go now. Because that little robot's following us saying, Hey! We need to go this way. So there are a couple of these throughout the game where just, like, you just follow it and see where to go. Combat prep, huh? Inter-access code, huh? Well, you know what we can do? We can use the internet. Do three locker codes! Is this the, uh, 396 one? No. Unless this is a weapon storage room. Hold on. Okay, that's not it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me look. What is this? What is this room? Combat prep. I don't even see that on the co code. It's 584. Oh, you can't open it until you uh, do more stuff. Okay, never mind. We can't do this yet, guys. My bad. All right, let's go. Hi. Bye. Attention, UAC personnel. Interested in earning more credits? Volunteer at Delta Labs today. See your service branch director for more details. Did you hear what Carter said? No. What? He said that he saw some strange creatures or something down in Delta. He said it wasn't human. What? You can't believe anything that guy says. I'm just telling you that's what he said. I don't know if it's true. Another reason I can't wait to get out of here. Okay. Oh, and let's go ahead and save our game. And we'll talk about this real quick. Because this is a really good game on immersion. You know, like, like, a, like a horror game. But... This right here, you see this? Autosave is disabled. Autosave is enabled by default in this game. And like every time you get to a checkpoint, it'll like pause the game to d and pull up a, a HUD for autosaving. And it really breaks the immersion of this game. So I'm glad that you can actually disable it now. What's this? Oh, we can change field of view. Wow, I can see more now, yay. Or we could bring it down to 80. Or 85. Let's raise it up. Why not? Hi guys, bye guys. Alright, so let's follow this thing through here. And if you notice some of these sections that we're going through, you see little frame the dips here and there. Cares about the quality of life of its employees. Please take advantage of our quality medical care services. And that's what I was talking about with the Switch version. And by the way, I mean, you probably already realized, but this is on the Switch, just to confirm. Because I've had some, I've, I've, I've done some videos on the main channel where I've put up Switch footage, and I've got, and I've got, had people come in go in and claims like oh hey this is not switch footage you're a liar i'm like no yes yes it is yes it is my thief simulator review recently had that where it was like this paragraph rant about how they bought the game hoping my video was switch footage which it was and then claiming that it wasn't i've had that happen a few times can i open this This is the 369 one, isn't it? No. It isn't? What do you mean it isn't? Oh, 396. Never mind. I'm dumb. Alright. We got bullets! And no gun to use them! 
All right, let's go. Next area. Oh, and by the way, I am going to have each of these episodes be at least an hour long. That way, like, you know, we've got... One, two, three, four, five and a half weeks until Halloween. So I want to make sure, because this is like a 12-hour game, so I want to make sure we actually can end it around Halloween. And we're only going to be doing a... Marine. Most unexciting place on Mars. I'm going to need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. Okay, grab your gear. Why don't you open this one that has the shotgun and the... Hold on. Hold on. What is this? Your stuff's in the storage cabinet. Now you're ready for combat. Let me do a radio test. Mars sec radio check. Excellent. Good signal. Looks like you've been assigned the decommissioned comm facility. Just follow the main passage through the underground junction and straight out. You'll have a quick evac. And what better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? Okay, you're all set. Oh yeah, keep in mind, civilians are working down here. Don't get excited and shoot any. But, um, yeah, I was looking at these weapons up here. Those don't look like the assault rifle that you get in the game. Because the, uh, you Marines earlier- You don't have a lot early... of time, Marine. You need to move out. You calm down! But the Marines were holding those rifles, but they, they those don't look like these. These these don't look like anything that I remember from the actual game. We'll come back to this later. Should be getting our flashlight tutorial here soon. Booga booga! Oh. I haven't seen anyone new down this way in quite some time. Oh, never mind. Welcome to the dungeon, brother. Enjoy your stay. I thought he was the one that you scared. That's why I said that. What's this? Hey, don't touch that. Ha ha! Let's touch it again. Yeah! What you? What are you gonna do about it? Okay, that's fun. Just little fun things that you can interact with. But anyways, yeah, we're not going to do uh, three episodes of this per week. Because I have a little one-off series that I'd like to try starting. It's going to be longer, probably longer videos. But I'd still like to try it. it would be a fun little thing. So it's going to be Doom 3 for a while, Tuesday, Thursday, and then something else on Saturdays. You'll see when I started this coming Saturday. You're looking for the scientist, right? You see, uh, never. What about scientists? Don't listen to me. Never mind what I say. Okay. All right, geez. I'll be on my way. Listen, Scotty. I've done this a million times. It's not that hard. Why don't you crawl your fat ass down here and do it yourself? Because I'm getting paid to make sure you do it. Just finish the coupling so we can continue. We've got a lot of bullets. I guess that locker gave us a lot. We got like... 168 shots to start the game with. Ooga booga! Buddy, don't know if I can really help you with anything. I'm kinda busy here. Alright, fine. Ooh, PDA, cool. Let's see what we got here. For Grant! Grant, what's the uh, security code? 531, huh? Okay. Oh, yeah, armors and shells! But we also have a new audio thing we can listen to. This is Grant Baston, your environmental services supervisor. The date is October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some uh, 
unexplainable things. Being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky, so we always have the occasional report of strange things. But what is worrying me is the fact that the number of these reports are up by a lot. People are truly frightened. The rumors we're hearing about experiments from the Delta Complex are not helping. The power fluctuations aren't helping at all either. Having the lights flicker constantly and losing power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down here. I'm doing my best to keep people in track, but we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting in sick almost every day. I'll keep my director apprised of the situation, and we'll continue to log reports as I get them. All right. So we've got some unexplained things going on here. Hey, what's that? Little magazine. Analyzing data. Oh, that looks neat. Maintenance guy, did not keep any of these machines running. Yes, sir. It's just that the science team demands a lot out of these things. Enough excuses. Just do your job and get the science team what they need. Well, I'm doing everything, but I just can't explain some of the things that have been happening to the systems. It's weird. Just get it done. All right, can't go there. Smack that guy upside the head. Is this the Ooga Hi. Do you make a habit of sneaking up on people? Everyone's already on edge down here with all the strange things that have been going on. The garage area is right through that door. Now stop bothering me. All right, fine. Well, we found the Ooga Booga guy. Ooh, look. Here we go. ZL will turn on your flashlight. Now, in the original version of this game on PC, the flashlight was a separate weapon. So you couldn't uh, shoot enemies with the flashlight out. But look at how dark this game is. You can definitely tell how a lot of people thought this was a horror game. Instead of, like, super fast combat, it was, like, creepy immersion. And it was in BFG Edition for PS3 and 360 that added the flashlight as kind of like a shoulder-mounted thing. All right, let's look around here. Hey, you're that new guy headed for the old comm center, right? You better hustle up, pal. This passage doesn't go all the way there. You'll have a quick walk outside to the center's airlock. Hey, don't sweat it. Your suit's got plenty of oxygen. Oh, okay, that's cool. We're gonna go out onto the surface. Won't that be fun? Let's cycle the airlock. Oh my gosh, I'm out. my oxygen's running out. Oh no, it's at 80% capacity when we're done. All right, let's close it. Close it. And we're fine. Is there anybody here to greet me? No? Well, fine. Not exploding barrel, I wonder what- Sergeant Kelly. You need to double time it down there. Search your assigned area and haul your ass back to Mars City. Out. All right, we're going up to communications. Calm down. Jeez. Reach old comm building. All right. So are we going to get to the uh, end of the prologue here before we end the first episode? That'd be fun. No, no, please. You must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. I can't let... I, you don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. The devil is real. I know. I built his cage. I'm getting abnormal readings here. This is bad. What's this? God, I can't hold these levels. Oh, no! Help us. What was that? What's that? Oh no, he's a zombie! 
Back away, you fiend! Oh no, zombies with guns! All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We're under attack by an unknown enemy force. Fall back to Marine HQ to regroup. I say again, fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. See, look at this, it's so creepy and awesome. Let's read the message he was sending. I think he, I think it's readable. All right, let's see. I have recalculated the effects of a containment failure and they exceed our prior estimate. No biological entity in the blast radius is likely to survive yet, but Trigger is pushing the stabilization fields far beyond system limitations. And that's, I guess, when he stopped when we walked in. All right. Oh no, it's a zombie! Oh. He died in like two hits. That last one was like four! Um, I could take this elevator. Or I could explore over here. Doesn't look like there's a lot here though. What do we do? All right, let's go back. I don't, what? What? Okay. Let's cycle the airlock again. All right, let's go. Squad leaders, give sit rep. Over. Command HQ, this is Bravo team. We've got one Marine down, two wounded. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 4. We are pinned down that? the blast. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 2. Main power systems down at sub level. Back Hello? to the life support systems only. We've got lots of civilian casualties. It's a mess. Command HQ, attempting to secure yeah, the Yeah, you're dead. That soldier died. Got attacked by a zombo. Got some health from a med kit. Ooh, got some more bullets. All right, now we're back to having more than when we started. Ah, you missed! I knew you were coming. That's one of the big, like, little... Oh my gosh. Did you see that? The door just vaporized him. Is there a bunch? There's some rooms here where it's like, yeah, you're gonna walk through and that guy's immediately gonna hit you with the wrench. But I knew what was coming! Yeah, take this and this and this and this! Extend the bridge. All right. Extend service bridge so I can. This is Command HQ. Report directly to Marine Headquarters and await further orders. All right. I'll go back to Marine Headquarters. That's fine. Let's go. Whoa. Hey. Hey, you calm down. You calm down right now. Yeah, that's right. You're dead. Is there anything else over here? No? There was also another. 
You know, I said earlier that they didn't make another game like this. Technically, they did. Man, I wonder if that game is still still available to download. They made it for the iPhone. I don't know if Android also got a uh, port of that. It was the Doom 3 mobile game. What was it called? I think it had... Oh my gosh, never... <laughs> no. Everything I look up on Google is just Doom, the, the mobile port of Doom 3 BFG edition. It had a specific name to it, but it was like, it wasn't a, like, a super advanced game. But it was like a little mobile game where you were, get to run around with the Doom 3 style of uh, gameplay. Oh, it's probably way there uh, down there on the wall. Because I don't play many phone games. Because, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of... Oh, it can't be re... It can't be re-downloaded anymore. It was completely taken off. So even if you bought it, you can't play it anymore. It was called Doom Resurrection. Man, that is unfortunate. Because it was technically a sequel to Doom 3. I mean, it wasn't really, like, real big stuff that you do in it. It was only on iPhone, and you can't play it anymore. That is so unfortunate. All right, let's let's see what we can do here. Okay, I need a security level here, which means there's probably a PDA somewhere around here that we can get. Yeah, take this zombie. Yeah, and this. Yeah, now you're dead. PDA. With security clearance. Does it also have an audio log? Heck yeah, dude. Two audio logs? Calm down. You need to calm down right now. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production dated October 18th, 2145. The current operational status of the grid is 23% over nominal capacity. I've increased work shifts to 12 hours a day for all personnel to keep up with demand. The constant and increasing load from the Delta complex is causing havoc. We are going to start losing critical systems if we have to sustain these levels much longer. I request clearance to requisition parts from other departments in order to maintain our equipment. Okay, I don't know what is going on over in Delta, but I'm doing all I can down here. The constant demands are bad enough, but the rumors going around are making things a whole lot worse. And I gotta tell you, if things don't get better soon, all hell is gonna break loose. Okay. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production, dated October 24th, 2145. Reclamation problems continue to plague the main processor. Two more valve overloads on that unit in just the past week. These overloads can destroy the valves, causing very dangerous fire, jetting with enough heat to incinerate sensitive equipment nearby. Today, we've had only one reported injury as a result of these valve failures, and this is due in large part to the quick response of the engineering team. Our procedure of entering the failure code 842 in the operation terminal has proved adequate, and I recommend no changes in that procedure. Okay. Well. We have security clearance now, because that was kind of a tutorial. What was that? Well, he's dead. I don't think there's any way to save him. You know, it wasn't like some other horror games that let you, like, have little events where you can save NPCs, like House of the Dead did. That was tied to the ending system for House of the Dead. Where you had to be quick on the trigger to be able to save the scientists roaming around being attacked by all the zombies.
Ooh, armor. Sweet. Uh-oh. Oh, not a- Oh, I've got a shotgun now! You guys are in trouble now! Even though I don't have much for it. Alright, we got some health stuff. Heck yeah, dude. This game shotgun is great. Then again. Shotguns are always great in id Software's games. Do you think you're going to scare me? Take this. Oh, hi. Hi! Who gave- whoa! Who gave you access to a shotgun? Oh man, look at that number rise. Man, I remember playing this game on easy mode and like, you got so much ammo early on then. Which I don't know, maybe it was, maybe it was always like that. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Man, look at this, this is great. And all the gore and everything, just like they did in Quake 4. More bullets. Oh my gosh, look at that! We got over 250 bullets in the handgun. Ooh, and this is an interesting feature. So the Doom games have always shied away from like auto healing. You have to find like med packs and stuff, and you can use these. These are littered around. So this is this has got 100% worth of uh, health that you can get from it. So boom, and it went down to 90. Now, so if I go for a little bit further in the game, anyways, so if I go a little farther in the game and take damage, I can come back here and heal. Oh, here we go. The imps. Yeah, take that. Take that! Because the imps, if you remember Doom uh, 1 and 2, were the little, were the skinny little brown demons with the spikes coming out that could throw fireballs. Okay, I thought I could crouch under that and not get hit. I was wrong. Can I turn it off? Doesn't look like it. We'll just have to take the hit. <sighs> oh my goodness. Look at how much damage that did. I thought it... Excuse me, I need this. <laughs> See? See? It's useful! That's why it's there! So if you make some stupid decision to walk through a, a literal stream of fire, you can go back and heal. The only unfortunate thing about this game is it's not super easy to dodge. Oh, hi. Hold on, I heard an imp. That weird screaming sound. There we go. And I bet the difficulty is why we're taking more damage than normal. Uh, let's see. We already went into that one, I think. Either that or it was, if it's, or it was just broken. Okay, we healed up a little bit. As you see there, you can dodge. You just gotta... You gotta try. Hello. I heard that.
yeah, as you can see, this game can be can still be difficult, even though it's slower paced. With how much damage we're taking here. What's this? I heard that. Have you? No did you notice what the shotgun does to us? The shotgun that the enemy's using? It literally launches us. Okay. Oh, Oh, that poor guy. That was the guy that was stuck fixing the, fixing that maintenance stuff. All you got This is Sergeant Kelly. We don't know what we're up against. I repeat, we have negative ID on the assailing force. They're mean SOBs. If you don't have a clear path back to HQ, stock up on ammo, establish a stronghold, and keep them at bay. All right. And listen to that. Back in 2004, this was good horror stuff. You missed! You missed again! Boom! Take that. You know, I I don't appreciate you throwing stuff at me like that. Command HQ, this is Bravo team. We've got one man down and several wounded. We are incoming and need medical on station stack. Command HQ. Oh no, my radio guy got killed. Radio track is destroyed. Unable to secure safe transportation back to base. Over. Roger that fire team two. Fall back to the nearest station and set up a CP there. Out. Oh, there he is. Man, look at this. I know we're still early on in the game, but we just keep get ha we just keep having more ammo than we started with. Oh, there's an imp there. Are you gonna try coming in after me? Oh, he was just gonna. He was just gonna hey, hang out up there. Excuse me. Fall back Excuse to you. For the order. I will shoot your face. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. All right, let's go. Yeah. See ya. And we're loading, and we're getting to the part of the All game now. Units. This is Sergeant Kelly. I am unable to reach Mars City from my current position. I need to Marine HQ to regroup and await further orders. All right, we're supposed to return to command. Hey, you, up here, quickly. Yeah. What's up? I thought I was the only one still alive. I can't believe I found you. Something happened. I don't know what. It, it, it was like a shockwave. It, it passed through the entire base. People started changing. It was crazy. I, I was working up here on the vent shafts. I don't know how I survived. Go for help. Please. Okay. We'll just crawl through here. Be careful. I don't know what's in there. I'll be careful. You be careful. You should probably pull that ladder back up. Even though the imps can easily just jump up there. Which is unfortunate for you, my man. There's a little chair down there. Oh, we're going down there. Cool. 
What was that? Oh, you. Oh, I know where we are. We're about to be introduced to the enemies that have the uh, little submachine gun assault rifle thing. All right, Marcus, let's see what your PDA has. All right! This is Mark Stanton. Manifest controller currently stationed at Mars City. I'm not sure who to send this to, so I decided to send it to quite a few people. If you're on the recipient list, please take a moment to review this report. It is quite important. I'm very concerned over the shipping procedures out here. I am the manifest controller, and as such, I need to be informed of everything coming in and out of Mars City. Someone here is subverting my position and preventing me from getting data on things being shipped. This is unacceptable. Not only could this reflect poorly on my upcoming review, but this is my job and I'm tired of being out of the loop. I have no idea who keeps telling the shipping crews to allow things in and out without allowing me to produce or procure the manifest, but whoever it is, it must stop. One of the dock workers actually told me to piss off when I tried to stop one of the last containers from going straight to Delta. I immediately filed a report and will follow up with the transit manager next time I see him. End of log. Okay. He sounded excited. All right, let's go. Yeah, I think through this door is the first guy with the assault rifles. I remember having a lot of trouble with these guys early on. Oh, that's not you. You're a shotgun guy. There he is. <laughs> All right, does this look like that weapon we saw earlier? Let's look. Does it look like, because I think this is it's supposed to be the same thing. Hmm, I guess it looks a little similar. I wonder if the PDA has anything to say about it. Eh, I guess. I suppose. All right, a key card. Command HQ. This is Specialist Wilson. My team is gone. They're all dead. I'm running blind. What are my orders? Over. Specialist Wilson, this is Sergeant Kelly. Stay sharp, son. Look to your last known RP and fortify your position. We'll find you. All right, let's go. Oh, whoops. Dang! Don't think I didn't hear that. Alright. Let's see what else we can do in here. Station locked. Oh, hey, that was a little spider robot that took care of them. Awesome. Yeah, what are you gonna do now? Nothing, you're just gonna die. <laughs> Crazy zombos. <laughs> Alright. You saw how that looked without the flashlight on. That's how you had to do it in the original Doom 3. Cause you had to put you had to put the flashlight away when you fought enemies. Like when you wanted to shoot something. I just don't know what to do. What are these things? You calm down. That was rude. Whoa! That was extremely rude. Popping out of a hidden area like that. Oh, it's a fat guy. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know better than to let myself get shot by that guy. Man, I still remember the first time I ran into those assault rifle guys. In that first room, I just like my... First time I ever played this game. My health just went. It just shot down like crazy. Clip. Oh, right, that's for this thing. Not that thing. No. This thing. Right, right, right. I was hitting left on the D-pad thinking it would be swap through my uh, arsenal. But the D-pad just puts you, put you straight on fist mode. Alright, I see another PDA here. I've got a Healy. Alright, let's see what we got here. Audio log for Dr. Casein, currently stationed at Mars City. I have just left the weekly status meeting here in medical. The most prominent topic was the vast number of psychological issues we are seeing as of late. The number of reports indicates that 10% of the overall base personnel have shown symptoms. As many people will not come in for this type of thing, the number of affected personnel could truly be in the 30 to 40% range. It has even manifested itself here in medical. We uh, have several nurses and a couple of good doctors out for related reasons. I'm going to formally request two additional psychiatrists on the next shuttle from Earth. Do we have our being overworked and the content of their sessions with patients is starting to affect them as well? Dr. Casein out. All right. Dr. Mark Casein, at 1547, patient Jonathan Wills was admitted after complaining of insomnia and nausea. According to the nurse, Mr. Wills was calm and exhibited no signs of disorder when he was brought to exam room five. However, by the time I reached him at 10 after four, his personality had changed dramatically. When I entered the room, Mr. Wills lunged at me with a scalpel he apparently stole from a supply drawer. With the assistance of an orderly, we managed to subdue and sedate him without injury. Mr. Wills was heavily medicated and could not be diagnosed, but in the 20 minutes he was left unattended, he managed to carve three symbols in his arm and cut his own tongue into two halves. I, I can only guess at the cause of his problems. I hope that additional psychiatrists arrive soon. In the meantime, in response to this assault, all medical supplies and armaments will be locked in a secure hospital cabinet with the code 347. Three, four, seven. All right. I bet that was the uh, sedation that we saw when we walked by when the, they were trying to hold down that bloody, bloodied guy. You know, it's really funny. I already forgot what the code was. Three, four, seven. Okay. All right, armor time. Oh no, he lives. Oh yeah, this was one of the big rooms that had a bunch of frame drops when this game first came out. Well, well, and now, has it ever been patched? Yeah, it's been patched once. Yeah, cause it's a little, it's a little choppy in here. Just a little bit choppy. We got a med kit though. I heard that. Bye! Look how gory this game is. Isn't that great? Marine Command is that way. So I think we're almost back. Bye! Oh my gosh, look at our ammo too now. 52 in reserve. This Marine come in? No. Ooh, combat prep. Was this the 584 one? I think it was. Heck yeah, dude. 
Give me all those clips and shells. Poo, boom, our reserves popped up to 72. Connection established. Marine, I can't believe you're still alive. I'm unable to return to Mars City. All passages out of the Delta complex have been blocked. I'm setting up a command post here. I can monitor status reports of the entire base from Delta Central Authority and communicate with other Marine teams. It's your mission to link up with Bravo team and get that transmission sent. Head toward Alpha Labs. It's the fastest way to find them. I'll update your PDA security clearance from here. Good job. And good luck, Marine. All right. See, he likes us now. And we're going to try to join up with Bravo Team next time. Because we've been going for a while. And like I said earlier, this is kind of like the start of a new series where we're just going to go through Doom 3 for a couple days. And each Saturday is going to be something interesting and different. But anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and head out of here. And I'll see you in a couple days for part 2 of Doom 3 for the Nintendo Switch.